Culver House has a long history of experiential learning. We have wonderful professors and staff supporting all kinds of different efforts in our community, um, as well as uh, in business broadly. My process starts with a dream, and so sometimes that dream comes from alumni, sometimes that dream comes from a corporate partner, sometimes that dream comes from a student who says, why don't we have this? Or what could we do here? Ultimately, that student or alum or faculty member is saying, I want to do something more in this space. And so coming together allows us to take that what if and make it real. For me, experiential learning is just that having students learn through their experiences. You can learn in a new and different and perhaps more meaningful way when you're part of something. You leave the classroom, go out and, and exist within a community or within a situation. That's experiential because the students aren't learning a vocabulary and taking a test about what it means to interact with people who are different from them. They're actually doing it. You start with the outcomes and then you step back and you say, okay, what are the what are the activities I want the students to engage in? What is the realistic capability of myself and my community partners and people that I work with outside of the university to allow for this experiential learning opportunity? Are there experiential learning opportunities on campus? Always being mindful of the outcomes and objectives for the class. Well, one of the things we have to do is provide opportunities for exposure. What kind of jobs are out there? The challenge we have in journalism and in many of the communication professions is students are often not immediately aware that they could do this. They hear about engineering, they hear about being a doctor, they hear about being a lawyer, but there are so many other opportunities for careers out there. Courses that I remember from college are the ones where I was out having experiences. And so that translated to me when I became a professor and started teaching my courses. And so I developed an experiential learning class in moderating dialogue because as people have the experience, they also need the space within which to interpret that experience. Whether it's a learning experience in the classroom or a learning experience outside of the classroom, what is core to all of these experiential learning opportunities is that it helps students make that transition from college to career.